Hi everyone, here we are again in another learning session. Today we are going to create a coffee mug in Solid Edge. Before we start, let me give a brief description about our company. Who is Jomark? Jomark is a mechanical designer since 2007 and is continually serving clients in the Philippines. We are a plastics, metals, and thermals specialist. Our proven record we are five years and growing in the business with a strong customer base. Also, as a solution specialist, we are an industry expert which provides cutting edge products and services. Today, we are going to make a simple coffee mug in Solid Edge. To make this product, we will cover basic sketching techniques, revolving a region, creating a shell feature, making a sweep feature and breaking sharp corners and edges. Now, let's get started. First, we will create a rectangular geometry to revolve into a feature. I can also immediately use the rectangle sketch tool, but for this session, I will use the line tool to create a rectangle. We will start our first point on the origin. Notice the horizontal constraint appears, vertical constraint, again the horizontal constraint, vertical and snapping on coincident. Finally our rectangular region. Next I'm gonna select the revolve tool. But before that, we will define the height of our mug by using Smart Dimension. Let's dimension this vertical line. Let's say 100 millimeters. Select Revolve. Click on Revolve Type and select 360 degrees. Select our rectangular region, and here is our revolved feature. Next, we will define the mug's diameter and key in a value of 100 millimeters. Right click to execute the command. The bottom of the mug is not a flat surface and usually has a curvature. So let's make a sketch to create the revolve cut. I'm gonna select tangent arc. Click my first point on the vertical axis and the last point on the bottom right edge. Create a vertical line to make it into a region. Select Revolve. We want this to be a revolve cut so we will select the plus minus button and pick the remove icon. Select 360. Select our axis of revolution. And here is our revolve cut. Next, we want this to be hollow, so select the thin wall tool. I want this to be 4 millimeters thick. And click on the top surface of our cylinder to exclude it. Next, we will add the mug handle. I'm gonna press Ctrl F on my keyboard to align our view on the front plane. I'm going to create a construction line for our arc. Locate our midpoint and drag our cursor to the left. construction to convert to a construction line. Grab our arc tool and select arc by center point. 
click our center point outside near our left wall. Second point along the vertical inner wall and last point at the bottom. This arc will be the path of our sweep tool. Next, we will create a plane normal to the endpoint of our arc. The profile of our sweep feature will be sketched on this plane. I'm gonna drag the plane until the position and distance is zero. So the plane is coincident to the endpoint of the arc. I want the profile of our sweep to be an ellipse. I will use ellipse by center point. Notice as I drag my cursor on the plane, a padlock appears besides it. I'm gonna press F3 on my keyboard to lock our sketch to this plane. As you can see, a lock appears on our upper right window. I'm gonna click our ellipse center on the arc's endpoint. Hit Ctrl H to align our sketch on the lock plane. Press Tab to cycle our way to the ellipse properties panel and key in an angle of 180 degrees so that we will be locked horizontally. Right click to exit the command. And now select the sweep tool. We are going to leave the default settings except for the full merge option. Under selection filter, our chain path will be the arc. Hit check. Select our ellipse as our sweep profile. Inspect our created feature and hit finish. Notice that we have two unwanted protrusions. To remove this, I will select the faces, press spacebar to add the other face below, and hit delete on my keyboard. This one is much harder to select. I'm gonna select the top face, change my view into wireframe. I will hover my mouse on the bottom face and when a mouse icon appears I will click and hold the right mouse button and the quick pick dialog appears. I can now select my desired face and press delete to remove the protrusion. I'm gonna switch back to my previous view style which is solid with edges and here now is our coffee mug. Finally we will add rounds to our sharp corners. Let's say I want this to be 3 millimeters.
and this one to be one millimeter. And finally, our coffee mug is completed. To summarize, we have learned the basic sketch techniques. We learned how to revolve a region. We learned how to create a thin shell feature. We have created a sweep feature. And finally, we learned how to break edges and apply the round command. For our next session, we will render our 3D file in Keyshot to make it realistically looking and apply striking labels on the product. If you have questions, comments, and suggestions, you can mail me anytime at jomark700 at yahoo.com. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.